Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And in today's video, we'll explore the power and flexibility of Django's custom user model. Whether you're building a social media app or let's say you're building e-commerce or any other web application whereby you require unique user attributes, that is where the Django's custom user model comes into picture. So to get started, we'll uh, check the current Django user model. And it consists of fields like username, first name, last name, email, and even password. But let's say what if you want to store additional information like a profile picture or maybe even phone number. That's when custom user model comes into picture. So in this part one video, we'll take a step by step look at how to create custom Django user model and then also handling additional things like settings for that and creating migration seamlessly. So let's stop this boring talk and let's jump into the code. We'll go to our VS code, uh, my favorite editor. And then I'm going to start by creating our project by PPNV shell. And once our P uh, PPNV shell is ready, uh, sorry, it is activated. Uh, let me clear it. And after that, we are going to install the Django. So PPNV install Django. So in this one, first we'll try to change the username field and I will show you how to do that. And once that is done in the next part of the video, we'll exactly see how to customize the user model. And in this one also we'll, uh, we'll be customizing the user model, but just uh, one field. And in the next part of the video, we'll also customize our user uh, manager. So first we'll clear the screen and then I will start by creating our project. So Django admin start project and I will call it as SRC. In we'll navigate inside SRC then we'll start our app. So Django admin start app and I will call it as demo. Our project and app is ready. Let's configure it. So we'll go to settings.py and in this one, we are going to first add, uh, sorry, add the demo app. So this is done. Now we can go and create, uh, actually we can go and um, customize the user model in any of the models that you have. So we'll go to this demo app and in models.py we can, uh, we will uh, customize it over here. So I'm going to import the model. So I'm going to import the model and it is from django.contrib.auth.models import uh, let's say abstract user. There are two abstract base user and abstract user. I'm going to use abstract user and I will show you all difference. I'm going to import that as well abstract base user. So first we'll go to abstract base user. Okay. And over here, if you see abstract base user has only few fields. Okay. Like uh, it will take in required field list. Yes, that is there then it will have a uh, password then it will have last login is active and uh, like these are the only fields that it consists of but if we go back here and go to abstract you be uh, sorry abstract user it uh, it inherits abstract base so we already have now fields like uh, is active and password and then uh, it takes in uh, fields like username first name last name email all these fields right so that is the difference between abstract user and abstract base user so if you want complete custom functionality what you what uh, one can do is like one can uh, inherit this and uh, use these default fields and then create their own fields like uh, username or anything okay for this video we are going to use abstract user i'm going to create a class and class will be called as user I will take in abstract user over here as inherited and I will create a new field called as mobile number. Then I will use models.care field for mobile number and I will give max length of 13. Then I will say null as false and unique as true. So our mobile number field is ready. This is the only field that we are going to create in this video. And uh, now that mobile number field is ready and let's say you want this field to be used instead of, uh, instead of username field, right? So for that, we are going to say username field. And in that we are going to specify this mobile number. There's one more step that is required over here. But I want to show y'all what error we can face over here if we don't do that step, right? So let, uh, let's try to create an admin. 
uh, super user so before creating super user we must create migrations so python manage.py make migrations and even before that we have one more step that is we have to go to settings.py and over here we have to specify that uh, to the django that use this user model as user model default user model so we are going to go to settings.py and just over here after the installed apps i'm going to say auth underscore user underscore model and in this one i'm going to specify demo that is app name then uh, in in that user model so app name dot whatever the model name is so our settings is done now we'll go over here and make migrations migration of this user is created and then we are going to migrate it so python manage.py migrate so my uh, migrate is also done now let's create our super admin and it will throw an error i want to show you all that so super user sorry it is create super user see as soon as we change the username field that is the field uh, mobile number that is asked over here so i'm going to enter some dummy number and it is still asking me for email let's say uh, some password and yes and there we go it is giving me error so what does this error mean is that we have to specify username field in required field list because that uh, the user manager expects us to send so that's why i'm going to uh, do that over here and in the next video i will show you all how not to use username field along uh, when you want mobile number to be the username field okay so over here we have to specify username let me clear this and create super admin see it is asking me for username i'm going to say only four nines and now admin is created now let's jump into the actually let's run the server and see what happens sorry 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 so python manage.py run server and we will check what happens on the browser's admin side so over here we will go to the admin side and as you can see it is asking me for mobile number and not the username so this is the as soon as we change the username field it updates many things and this is one of that so now we can log in with that user and we can check we haven't registered the user model over there in the admins.py so we'll register it so it is from dot models import user and then admin dot site dot register go to the browser refresh this and we have the user model over here and as you can see uh, we have password last login super user status and username and if we go down mobile number is also present and there we go guys in this part one tutorial we have covered how to customize django user model in the next part of the video we are again going to customize the user model but along with that we are also going to update our user manager so that will be part two video make sure to subscribe for that and if you have found this video helpful make sure to like the video comment and share and see you in the next one